Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I just picked up our Walmart grocery order for the week, so I wanted to do a really quick haul. I'm gonna try to make this pretty rushed, but I don't wanna go too fast, so excuse me if I do. It is literally dinner time. Um, my clock on my Alexa is wrong. It's actually 5.40, not 6.40, but it's right at dinner time. Um, I've had a crazy, hectic, stressful day, but I wanted to come on here and do this haul for you guys. My mom is actually being super helpful and she's at the table right now with Aniston and doing her homework. As soon as I get off here, I have to make dinner and then I have to do a smoothie video that I agreed to do for TikTok. So it's just insane, you guys. Um, all of this was 121.13. I had several substitutions, they were all fine, and I had no out of stock items, which was super exciting. So we will start down here. I got some um, unsweetened almond milk. We've been going through this way faster than we usually do. I've been adding this to my hot coffee every morning because you guys know Chris and I are doing WW. And if I add two ounces of this, to my coffee and then add the creamer. I use a lot less creamer, which means it's a lot less points because this is like zero points when I add the two ounces. Um, I've also been making a lot of overnight oats and I use like half a cup of almond milk in every container of overnight oats I make and Chris has been eating them as well. So we go through it pretty quickly. Um, so I grabbed another one of those. These are actually chicken drumsticks. I was gonna make one of the skinny taste recipes that Aniston loves called for lemon feta drumsticks in the crock pot. I need more crock pot, instant pot kind of meals. We are in full swing with baseball season, with baseball five to six nights a week, or days, I should say, um, and it's just absolutely insane. Our schedules are crazy, and on top of that, Chris decided to play softball again, so we are literally crazy over here. So I need quick and easy dinner. So I ordered these drumsticks, but I don't know if you guys can see, kind of, uh, maybe not, like right here, there's a hole. So I actually started a return for it, like not a huge deal. It's like the size of my thumb, but I just don't feel comfortable eating something that had a hole in it. Like who knows what got in there. So we're not gonna eat those, but I got some lemons. This is for the lemon feta drumsticks, some tomatoes, and then I got a big container of salad. I still have not made my way to Costco yet. I usually buy my salad at Costco. Um, but Chris and I wanna start eating some more salads. We both love salad and I feel like you can pack them full with so many vegetables and you can do so many different kinds of proteins on your salad. Um, I'm actually planning on marinating some chicken and grilling it up and kind of prepping it for the rest of the week and having just a bunch of grilled chicken breast that's ready to go for salads. Um, and I thought that would be a quick filling, great lunch. We also got a zucchini and a yellow squash. I already have one of each of these in the fridge so I just needed a couple more. Some chocolate chip dipped granola bars. This is something new and fun we have not tried, but I saw all over TikTok. I thought Jackson would get a kick out of it. Possibly Aniston. Cohen will not eat this. Um, he probably wouldn't even try this if his life depended on it, but the bubble fruit. So it's peach, strawberry, lemonade, and then it has like the popping boba in it. So I thought they would get a kick out of that. We got some banana peppers. Chris and I like these on sandwiches, wraps. We also like them on burgers and in salads. So I got those. Oven roasted turkey breast from the deli. No sugar added um, ketchup. I've heard this is a lot lower in points on Weight Watchers, so I grabbed that. I also grabbed this Weight Watchers Farm, or Weight Watchers Friendly Dressing Bolt House Farms Classic Ranch. This is like two points for two tablespoons, I believe. Don't quote me on it, but when I checked, I wanna say that's what it said. Um, I've tried several of the Bolt House Farms flavors. I've been eating the salad dressing for years, and it's really good. They have like blue cheese, a ton of different flavors. Highly recommend them if you're looking for a healthier option, but you still want like a creamy dressing. So good. Um, a can of beef broth. We got a tri-tip at Aldi when I went a few weeks ago. So um, we froze it and I think we're going to thaw it out and maybe cook it. I'm trying to think of a night that we will actually be home because um, Chris is gonna do it on the Traeger so he needs to be here to grill. And I'm hoping possibly it could happen maybe Sunday because every other night this week we literally have baseball. So it's gonna probably have to be Sunday. Um, but the recipe calls for beef broth, blueberries, Laughing Cow Aged White Cheddar. This stuff is so good. Um, I didn't get a whole ton, like a lot of produce. I need way more fruit. We go through fruit so quickly. I want some more fresh vegetables. Um, and like I said, more salad, but I need to make my way to either Aldi or Costco to get more produce. I got, are you not listening? No, this is what this, the, the Okay, listen to Nana. She just came and stole my water bottle. I got a couple boxes of the Annie's White Shells um, mac and cheese, more mini chippers, my absolute all-time favorite makeup remover. I have very sensitive skin, and this does not make me break out, and it does not dry up my face, and it's like under a dollar. Love this stuff. More of the cheese dip and breadsticks. Tostitos, this was one of my substitutions. I ordered the Walmart Great Value um, bite-sized tortilla chips, and they gave me those. 
the um, fiber one bars. Okay, so these, they make them in like a coffee cake, a brownie, and then these like birthday cake ones. So these are only two points for one, and I already ate one. <laughs> I never had the birthday cake ones. The fiber one brownie ones I had had years ago. They're like decent size if you ask me, um, and they're so good for like a sweet tooth craving. I don't really have much of a sweet tooth, but Chris does, and I think he's really gonna like these. Um, I saw in one of the Weight Watchers groups I'm in, someone said you take the brownie and you warm it up in the microwave for like 10 seconds, and it's so good. So I'm gonna have to try that. They were out of the brownie ones. So I grabbed the birthday cake. Feta for the lemon feta drumsticks. This LaCroix, um, if I'm even saying that right, was a substitution. I had ordered the Clear American Cherry Limeade, so they gave us this. Thought we would try it. I've never tried this brand. I hear some people love it and some people hate it, so I'm, I'm excited to try it. It'll be interesting to see what we think. Um, these Extreme Wellness Wraps are my absolute favorite. They are only one point. Smart Food Popcorn. The Smart 50 is super Weight Watchers friendly. Um, I'd have to scan this to let you know for sure on the white cheddar flavor, but I got, when I ran to Walmart over the weekend, I had to go for a few things and I grabbed the Smart 50 um, Salty Caramel, I believe is what it is, or Sea Salt and Caramel. Oh my gosh, it was so good. If you like kettle corn, I highly recommend it. Um, they were out of it when I placed this grocery order last night, so I got the white cheddar. I love white cheddar, but when I get the sea salt caramel one, one cup is only two points, and so I think this is pretty comparable. I think it'll be about the same. So good for like a late night snack or just if you're wanting a low point snack during the day, highly recommend it. You guys, I'm trying to finish this up. Anison, could you please just listen? Hold on, guys. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. When I tell you guys it has been a day, I'm not exaggerating, so I'm gonna hurry up and get through this because I'm not in the mood. I've got some bananas. I have the diet green tea. I usually get the citrus. I have never tried the mixed berry, but I had a few people tell me to try the mixed berry, so I grabbed some of that. Mini cucumbers and also some whole mushrooms. We're gonna do some chicken kebabs this week, and I like to do like whole mushrooms on those. Mini sweet peppers. These are also a great snack. Um, I got more Dannon Light and Fit Greek yogurt. These are each only two points on WW. Chris really likes the strawberry cheesecake. I have actually not tried that flavor. Um, and I really like the toasted coconut. More of the Belveda. My kids really love these. I have some salad mix, a couple of the sugar-free chocolate puddings. Chris, like I said, has a sweet tooth and these are good for him to take um, instead of like a regular pudding. Um, some string cheese for the kids. We got these mini muffins. This is another one of their favorites. Bacon bits for salad, fajita seasoning. I'm actually making fajitas as soon as I get off of here. A couple nectarines. Um, Walmart actually put these like in the freezer. So when I got them, they were like frozen solid. So I'm gonna have to let them sit out for a little bit and hopefully they're still good. I got one grapefruit, um, a couple bags of baby carrots. I love to just snack on these. And the Trader Joe's guacamole that is made with Greek yogurt is like two tablespoons for two points super low in points and it's really good if you dip baby carrots in it i did that and it was so yummy um some pork sausage this was actually a substitution i ordered the be the big resealable bag of the brown and serve sausage links and they didn't have it so they gave us the pork sausage patties which are fine my kids love the sausage patties um we eat a lot of like homemade breakfast sandwiches with the english muffins and sausage patties cheese and egg all that good stuff. So these will definitely get eaten. And then I got a container of light Cool Whip because once again, Chris's sweet tooth, I figured like if I put a bunch of fruit together and made like a little fruit salad and he could top it with some Cool Whip, that would be a good sweet tooth craving. So here is what I got for groceries. Like I said, I still need to make a trip to Costco, but this week is absolutely insane. Not that next week is going to be any less busy, but I just have a lot of plans and a lot of things going on during the day this week, like while the kids are at school. So I might try to squeeze a trip in. It would have to be Thursday to Costco, but if it doesn't happen, it will hopefully be happening early next week. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you are all staying safe and healthy and have a fantastic week. Bye guys.